stage. He goes by the name of Mark. Put your hands together for Mark. <laughs> Ten years ago, Ace only weighed 100 pounds. Okay, put <laughs> All right, how y'all doing? Mark's my name. I also go by Supreme Star. They say if a picture paints a thousand words, then my words paint a thousand pictures. So, I got two for y'all. First one's called Expressway 69. Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> he sat there staring at the bottom of the empty shot glass, burnt. He shot. He sat there staring at the bottom of the empty shot glass, basking in the burning sensation of the overproof down his chest. Alcohol emanating from his breath while he reflects on the life he has left. It's over now, he thought to himself. The divorce was finalized just yesterday. She walked away with everything, including his sanity. The woman he loved to death, now his Hennessy is all he has left. She sat there staring at the bottom of the champagne flute, excited with her hands over her chest, staring at the ring taking away her breath as she reflects on the greatness of the man to whom she sits next. She had just accepted his greatest gift ever, his hand in holy matrimony. Now she'll finally be able to live the life and the dream of starting a family. The man she loved with all her heart. Looking forward to the new life she's about to start. He sat there down in his sixth shot as he drowns in his pain. Staring out the window at the pouring rain. Stumbling as he fumbles for the keys to his range. Fighting all the blurred senses he's seen. His vision no longer that keen. She sits on the rest of her champagne as they prepare to depart. Despite the downpour, he's brought sunshine to her heart. It's a long day tomorrow, so their ways must part. Call me when you get home, he said, as she presses the automatic start. I'm calling you a cab, the bartender says. You're in no condition to drive, but in his state, he hears none and continues towards his ride. Almost fell on his face twice before he made it outside. I've drove many a times before I could do it one more time. She heads towards the expressway, home just 10 minutes away, smiling in jubilation as she reflects on her beautiful day. Rushing to get home to share the news with family. Looking, here, looking in her rearview mirror, looking at a bride to be. He makes it to his car and proceeds to try and drive. Swerving in and out of lanes, headed toward Expressway 69. He doesn't have a destination. He, don't, he no longer has a home. He's just driving the drive. Days in his own dome. Days in his own zone. Two different people on two different sides. Scheduled to meet through destiny's design. As fate would have it, believe it or not, they're both on Expressway 69. Because all the liquor he's holding inside has made the waste of his eyes. As he dozes away, the car picks up speed. As he blinks, all the liquor, all the liquor hold, pardon me. Because <laughs> all the liquor he's holding inside has now made the waste out of the lids of his eyes. As he dozes away, the car picks up speeds as all the limbs in his body become more and more heavy. His car starts to veer across the solid yellow line, and while staring in the mirror, she missed, the, she, missed the, she missed him passing on her side. And by the time she finally did realize, the impact caused her to fly. Unfasten her seatbelt, she sure did try, but it was too late as she rolled quickly down the countryside. Her life suddenly started flashing right before her eyes. The most she could do was cry, and that's why. This isn't the way that she's supposed to die. And in, and, and in his eyes, it all just seems right. The perfect way to end this horrible night. Because he already died when he lost his wife. And this will bring an end to all his pain and strife. Two different people on two different sides scheduled to meet through destiny's design. And believe it or not, as fate would have it, they're both on Expressway 69. <laughs> That's the last one I got memorized, so it should be a little easier. <laughs> Any parents in the house? Any parents? 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 Mom? Dads? Mom? Dads? No? No? Mom and son? Mom and son? proud to be a parent. Well, for those of y'all that do have kids, and for y'all that, that will have kids, this is for my wife right here. Who's also in the house? It's called It Takes Two. 
homes dedicated to both men and women who are taking care of their kids together. Because they say two is better than one and not enough credit is given to the men who didn't jump up and run from taking care of their daughter or son along with that child's mom. See, this poem is dedicated to all those mothers who are also faithful lovers. Takes care of her home and her man under the covers because she knows that man is doing right by his. And it's a true definition of what a man really is who understands what it means for a child to have dad right by his or her side and mom right there beside him instead of a sense of pride because one day that child will have its own family. So now they have two role models of what a family should be because see, the problem nowadays is that people no longer even try. They just because you're paying child support, everything is fine. You don't realize that seeing that child twice a week is really messing with their mind because they're wondering why daddy isn't around all the time and mommy's all alone struggling on her own, forced to play with mother and father role at home and much respect is given to all those single baby mamas who must now endure all the additional dramas, who are forced to put their lives on hold, who have no choice but to put a back seat to their goal, but even more aspiration to give it to the woman who goes above and beyond to make a house a happy home because she has double the responsibilities of D. Because see, not only must she balance taking care of her seed, she must also manage to make her man feel like a king. And so all of those kings who are holding down their queens, who step up as a man to his responsibilities, who shows his child how to treat women to respect, who teaches his daughter what treatment not to accept, who does so by example. Can you imagine the volume, the, the volume his actions speak just by him being there as the head of his family? See, in the days of tribal kings and queens, bastards were a rarely told tale, but nowadays too many of our fathers are riding away in jails and streets making sales, chasing their own tails, leaving that single mother to tell her child, daddy's gone for a little while. Even that, or preparing to go to try to force a man to pay what he should be giving up willingly. Running from the words, the child is yours. Not giving that child the life that they deserve. How can a man have such nerve? I wonder to this day, which is why I vowed to never run from family. Because what you or that mother goes through should have nothing to do with that child. That innocence, that smile should make it all worthwhile. So this right here is dedicated to both mothers and fathers too. Because one person can raise a child. But there's no greater blessing as to when there's two. <laughs> Take a trip down memory lane, y'all. Yeah. This is called that type love. I want to go back to the old school days of love, those timeless classic ways of love, uh, me and you sitting in the tree type love, uh, I like you, do you like me type love, uh, they don't check us or no, but always drew a new box called Maybe So type love, I want that Alicia Keys teenage love affair type love, that promise ring to show you I care type love, that you cut your sandwich in half cause my mom gave me bologna and you knew I hated that type love, I want that Let's play house type love that I'm the dad and you're the mom and we drive up on a couch type love just so we can have a baby and you'd remember how your dad drove your mom crazy type love. I want that dad didn't want you talking to any boys type love so I have to bribe my little sister to call you type love that we only had one bike so you wrote my handlebars and held on to dear life type love. I want that see you in the hallway and hold your books type love that scared to come around because your mom had me shook type love that we couldn't, we really couldn't date because mom didn't approve so we lied, say we were both hanging out with our crew type love. I want that sneak and meet you at the park type love, but hurry and get home before it gets dark type love. That let's go play hide and seek, but we only chase each other around the freak type love. I want that let's play tag, nah, let's go play hide and seek, but we hide in the same spot and freak type love. I want that let's play tag at the playground type love, but we would only chase each other around type love. That sneaking whole hands under the table type love. That you still keep all, uh, you still have all the letters I ever gave you type love. That one ice cream sundae with two spoons type love. That you feed you feed me and I feed you type love. That broken heart shaped doll chain from the ab with my name on one and yours on the other half type love. I want that. Your, your name next to mine's type of love and we scribble it a thousand times type of love that carve it in a heart on a bark of a tree and leave it there for everyone to see type of love I want that every Sunday you're at my game type of love and you still wear my jersey with my name type of love I want that since you my life has changed type of love and without you I'd never be the same type of love because that type of love is a rare gift and it's even harder to find one to share that love with so if you find that love cherish yours because it just don't make that type of love no more <laughs>